Welcome back, guys. Oh my god, we have a crazy one for you today. Something that I think is pretty sweet, and it has to do with CD. CD is back. If you remember the CD retro gaming system, it was a crowdfunding campaign that they did through Indiegogo for an emulation machine that played CD-based games. Essentially what it was was a CD drive uh, using an Orange Pi and emulation software to play your disc-based games. Now, obviously, that sounds a little familiar, right? You know, the Polymega. The Polymega is the hot news as of late. But before the Polymega, the CD was out there with some, you know, uh, review units and people discovered what it really was. And ultimately, it didn't take off the way they hoped. But they are back. And wow, are they back. Not with a, a, a crowdfunding campaign, but with some awesome software where you can essentially make your own system. I can only compare this to making your own Polymega and making it on the cheap because this thing essentially does the same thing as the Polymega. So on their website, if you bounce over here, I'll have a link in the description. They have a CD Windows beta going on, and this is flippin' sweet. You could set up your own system. You could make your own Polymega on the cheap and play your disc-based games, have a dedicated system just for that. So on this website, they do show you to download the CD Windows beta here, and we're going to take a look at this in a moment. I've downloaded it. I've messed with it a little bit, and I am amazed. It does need a little work. It is in beta, though, but what I have seen so far is flipping sweet. So you'll download the beta up here, and then you do have to get the uh, Dokken set up uh, distribution here and then you'll uh, run the wincdforms.exe pay attention to where all this stuff installs so you can easily find it uh, and then it explains what else to do uh, and I'll kind of show some of that in a moment so what is this you know it's kind of funny it tells you hey download this stuff and then down here it tells you what you're actually downloading uh, this is the result of a side project from CD R&D. It's a Windows app that you can run on a PC and does a lot of cool stuff from CD. It will detect a console game CD getting put into your computer and launch whatever corresponding emulator you want. And there's a cool thing with that. It can auto set up so you barely have to do anything to get this going. Um, and it's compatible with just about all existing emulators, even if they don't support a CD drive. So for the CD-based games, it's compatible with Sega Saturn, PlayStation, Turbo Graphics and PC Engine CD, Sega CD, Mega CD, Neo Geo CD, 3DO, CDI, Amiga CD32, Jaguar CD, Dreamcast, CDRs, not original GD-ROMs. I do not have any burnt Dreamcast games right now, so I've not been able to test that. PCFX, and did we miss anything? Wow, they pretty much got all bases covered there. And then I thought this was kind of cool, man. Like, they're showing you, like, hey, you could... You can make your own little badass system right here, pretty much. I almost look at this like they're like, you know, see that Polymega out there? Well, you know what? We, we can get people set up to do the same damn thing a heck of a lot cheaper. So they're showing you, you know, get this ultra small form factor PC with an i5 and Windows 7. Costs less than 150 bucks. HP and Dell both make compact systems. Look for ultra small form factor. I've used like an Optiplex before, old ass dual core, you know, PCs, and I've emulated up to like Street Fighter 4 on PC, up to Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, GameCube, Wii, pretty much everything. Uh, very great. So this is pretty cool, you know, looking at their recommendations here. And then if you want to run cartridges, just like the Polymega, get the retro adapter. Costs about 65 bucks. Then they're just, you know, some accessories. Get a Wiimote light gun and a dolphin bar. Um, that way you can use, you, you could play light gun games, has light gun support. Then they have this uh, CD background for your desktop if you make your own system for this. And I thought that was pretty neat. Like, I, I really look at this like, it's almost like, hey, you know what? Just do it. Uh, you know, our CD uh, <laughs> Indiegogo didn't quite work out. Here's the uh, the tools to make one yourself and pretty much make it better than what we were doing. Uh, pretty much to, to whatever your heart's content. I think this is sick. This might be something I pursued doing. Um, but let's go ahead and open up the application here. So 
there we go. Pretty simple stuff. You may see I have down here a couple games. I'm going to test these out real quick. Chocobo Racing for the PS1. Virtual Fighter Kids for the Sega Saturn. This is the Japanese version. I have a ton of Sega Saturn games, mostly uh, Japanese versions. So we have some options here. And I have messed around with this to you know varying degrees of success. So let's look at emulator options. So this button here, auto setup, if you click it, it just downloads pretty much what you need emulator wise. Gets all the paths put in, everything good to go. Um, BIOS check, now if you click BIOS check, this is gonna tell you where your BIOS files need to go and what they are called. Um, if you have them in the correct path and you have the legit file that you need, status will say okay. If you don't have it, it'll just say download. Now this download, it does not download a BIOS file. It just explains to you how to Google search for the file. I don't have the PCFX or the CDI one. I don't really care. I don't have any games for those. Uh, the one that I'm a little bit disappointed is Neo Geo CD. I do have one legit Neo Geo CD game, and that's Samurai Showdown 4. Um, I had everything set up. I tried the disc, and it will not boot for some odd reason. But that's fine. You know, I don't own a Neo Geo CD. I just by chance have one disc, and I was hoping that it would work with this. But maybe there's something I'm doing wrong, or maybe there's just an issue with this beta software. But regardless, the other systems I've tested out have worked just fine. Um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at right now is popping in a disk. So we're done with all that. Um, my current drive being used is drive G. That's I have a Blu-ray burner drive, whatever the hell, uh, set up. So um, I've had a few little issues, little quirks here. So I'm, you know, I'm not really set up to record like, hey, I'm inserting a disk into my PC. But that's what I'm doing. I'm inserting Chocobo Racing for the PS1. If anybody has a you know the actual manual for this game, and you know all the uh, cover art that wants to get rid of it, let me know, man. Been looking for it. So it's reading my disc right now. It's it didn't do anything for whatever reason. It did not do anything. But if I hit drive settings, it should just pop up. So you see disk status, PlayStation, it recognized it. Maybe I had to wait a little while. I, I'm not 100%. But as you see here, it did pop up the system. Um, we're not going to really mess with a bunch of stuff. I am using the Blissbox adapter with an actual PlayStation controller plugged in. Not 100% if I have this set up properly. Hopefully everything works. If not, it's all good. You see it's working. I may have to do some controller configurations, I don't know. But so far it seems like my controller's working just fine. Oh, nice. Yes, everything, <laughs> Every you can go full screen and all that. I'm just leaving it like this for right now, just to um, kind of get a feel for everything. But this is flipping cool, especially if you're, you know, setting up a dedicated system for this. Wow, and yeah, you could use whatever emulators you want. Um, it, it's it's really, really something cool, I think. I don't know what the controls are on this game. Oh, there we go. Actually, now I remember. I, I've played this quite a bit a while ago, though. It's been a little while. Really awesome game. So running off of the disc through the emulator, I think that is pretty darn sick, guys. Like... I don't know what to tell you. I think this is pretty cool. I know emulators support that, but having you know this software this way and it being in a beta, it's being worked on, I think that's pretty, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna eject the disc. Let's see if it just boots, turns the game off. Let me see. I ejected the disc, it's still playing. That's fine. We'll go ahead and exit and pop in the Sega Saturn. Pop Virtual Fighter Kids in. Don't know where the uh, user interface went. Okay, we got Sega Saturn in there. I had to re-record this part of it. Um, I wound up getting a black screen and 
recorded nothing but me talking, which kind of sucked. So I had to reboot the CD uh, application there. I just had to close it out and reboot it. Instantly, it recognized that I had the Sega Saturn disc in there. So let's go ahead and click Launch Emulator. Pop that bad boy up. Oh, that is beautiful for sure. Um, I'm really digging this, guys. Like, I, I really see the prospect of just making a mini system, your own Polymega, and uh, just getting this going. I don't know what the heck's going. It's taking a while to load up, but there we go. But yes, this I thought this was pretty awesome. I had to share this with you guys. Um, very simple to set up. You know, there are a little bit of bugs, it seems. Nothing crazy. Oops, I exited out. Nothing crazy. Uh, it is in a beta, so you can't really, you know, you can't really complain, right? Uh, let's do normal. And yeah, you can go full screen. I already said that earlier, but uh, this is definitely pretty cool, especially somebody who has discs already. And you're not really having to buy a $600 machine, $250 machine. Damn, this is floaty um, to, you know, play these games. And it's it's pretty cool if you want to, you know, record footage anyway on the, the, the easy side if you already have a bunch of games. And, you know, you have a YouTube channel or Twitch or something. This is a pretty cool little option. You know, a lot of these disc-based games are pretty uh, big if you download them or rip them. So, hey, you know... It's cool to have backups as well, but it's also kind of neat to use your official original discs to play these games. You know, I have the, the hardware for all these systems other than the Neo Geo CD, like I said. Um, but I still I still enjoy these different weird little options. Um, you know, there's people out there who are interested in something like the Polymega, like the CD. You saw in their, um, their Kickstarter there, or not their Kickstarter, their Indiegogo. They needed 50,000. They only got 31,000. That was 63%. So there was a lot of interest in this system. Um, 125 bucks, ah, you know, uh, cheaper than the Polymega, but it was just an orange pie. Definitely the Polymega had more, uh, you know, uh, power to it, more features, but it just very damn expensive. With this option of using the CD software you could set your own up on the cheap and i think that is pretty cool so if you're interested in this beta download it here i'll have a link in the description so you could peep it out mess around with it let me know what you think i think it's pretty cool you know it does play original discs also it plays backup discs so if you have a bunch of backup discs they'll work just as well um, and if you have any issues uh, you can report to them that way they can try to to fix some things try to get this software going think it's cool that they're sharing i give them mad props for that really cool stuff definitely interested to see where this goes so really do appreciate you guys stopping in well, i'm getting my butt kicked here smash that like button oh time out subscribe smack around that notification bell let me know what you're thinking on this follow me on twitter do all that crazy stuff it means the world to me guys you know it you really do know it and with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom!